Okay, I've got a bonus sign for you that I wanna make with the Hocus Pocus sign for my front porch. So what I'm using is a Christmas sign. It says, believe in the magic of Christmas on this side, but I'm gonna paint on the back as usual. And I did fill in my little holes with some wood filler. You don't have to do that, but I do. I'm gonna use a little sandpaper. And then I'm using one of these signs to trace that I had extra. And then I printed off a black cat. Any cat will do. I'm gonna paint it black, but I printed off a cat um, to trace. And we are gonna make the cat in front of the pumpkin on this sign. Um, so what we'll need for materials, like I said, I'll need a pencil, uh, carbon paper again, or again, you can color on the back of this with pencil and just trace over it. But I like the carbon paper and it works good for me. Some scissors, cause I do wanna, I tend to like to cut around the item I'm gonna be tracing so I can see exactly where he's gonna go. And this is gonna be my version of Thackeray Binks to go on my porch. I'm not even gonna attach this to my um, sign. I'm just gonna lean it up against it. But I want him, I wanted a black cat for Halloween time on my front porch. So all I did is cut around the cat just so I can see where he's going. So you'll need some craft scissors, a printer, probably have some wet naps because I'm messy. And let me turn you around and show you how I'm gonna trace this out. Yes. Okay. So here's my cat that I printed off. Carbon paper. The pumpkin is really big for this, but that's okay. And then I have sandpaper and I'm just going to really quickly sand where those holes are. I filled them in with some wood grain. Doesn't have to be perfect. I just like the holes filled, that's all. Okay. There we go. Now, this is the sign that the cat's gonna go on and he's gonna sit like right in the center or probably off center a little bit, but I want the pumpkin centered. And I don't know if this is too big, maybe. Maybe not. We're gonna do this pumpkin here. Yeah, I think this will be good. And I'm gonna paint it just like this sort of. Um, so really the only thing we're gonna trace is the top of the pumpkin. And see if, oh yeah, that's gonna look good. Because what I'm gonna do after I place the cat where the cat's gonna go over here um, then I'm going to decorate this pumpkin. So we know we want the cat over here. We're going to put down my carbon paper and I buy this on Amazon. It was like, um, I think five sheets for or 30 sheets for like $5 or something. And we want the cat kind of at the bottom. I feel like, right. He should be sitting at the bottom and the side. So he's gonna go right here. It's a he because that's what I have. And then I'm just tracing. It's all it's the the boy that the witches, the Sanderson sisters turned into their familiar black cat. And see how if it's a little cut off, you can just curl it. And let's see how that looks. Perfect. I hope you can see the word. There you go. And then what I will do is just come in here because I don't want um, there we go. I don't want to color in here. And then I know we want our pumpkin like that, and then we're gonna paint it orange and do some highlighting like we did on this pumpkin. 
And it's simply just orange paint with a little, I'll probably put some copper because that's what I have out. And some brown up there. So what I'm gonna do, I'll come back, but I'm gonna paint this orange, paint that brown and paint the cat black. So you can see it better. All right, we got everybody painted out. We painted out the pumpkin, the black cat, and then what I did up here is I just drew with my paint pen some lines. We're going to make it look like a board, like on a fence. Let me see if I can get a good view here of this for you. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I took that brown paint that I used on the other fences and I added some of the flesh tone to it and I'm gonna paint this paint, this fence here, this color. I want it lighter than the other fence. And my hope with this black is that it shines through. If it doesn't, when it dries, I, don't, I didn't want it necessarily so bold, if that makes sense, these lines. I kinda of wanted them to be a little kind of opaque. So we're not gonna paint a whole ton over them. We're just gonna do it like that. Like one swipe over that line. And when it dries, I think the black will shine through. Okay, got our fence painted at the top. Oh, I'm a I'm loving this. Now, all we need to do for the next step is I want to highlight my pumpkin with some of this brown and a little bit of the copper. Just kind of blend it together. And then we're going to just do like that. See how you just kind of just want to get some shape into this pumpkin around the kitty cat. Maybe down here a little bit. And then some copper, I feel like will really blend it up good. Get up here behind him. And then if I feel like it's too dark, which it is a little too dark, I'm just gonna go back over it with the pumpkin orange. And what that does is it just mutes it. It just takes it down a notch. Like that. Ooh. And then I got some black from the cat that apparently wasn't quite dry, but that's fine. I'll just touch it up with some orange once it's a little more dry. We've got our pumpkin kind of highlighted there and we do want to do a little highlighting in the cat nothing super dark just kind of touching up letting us know he's a cat and where his little highlights are nothing really of any importance he's a black cat at night Um, yeah, and then some gold in here. I do want to put some gold up here. You just really want to highlight over the wet paint really works well too because it just blends it in. It's not like a stark line. But there we go. I will, I'll get you a better view of him, but there's up close of my Thackeray Binks bonus sign to go with my Hocus Pocus sign that we'll be finishing up now that everybody is dry. We'll be back. Okay, here's the finished product with my bonus Binks sign. I am in love with how this turned out. I'm trying to get a really good view for you. There you go. It's on my front porch. 
and I am loving it. And I hope you enjoyed my Pinterest Dollar Tree edition, Nail It or Fail It. And I hope I nailed it. You guys have a good one, and I will talk to you later. Bye.